Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Jaclyn not owning Jaclyn Cosmetics, the documents that have come out, and overall just like my thoughts as being a consumer of Jaclyn Cosmetics. So if you are new here, hello, my name is Anna. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and basically these videos are just me chatting and shooting the breeze. Basically just uh, keeping it real with you all. You guys seem to really like it, so if you want me to cover any certain hot topics, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, but other than that, all the products that I'm using will be listed and linked down below. They do have an affiliate link, so I do earn a small commission when you use those links, which all those funds that I do earn go back into my channel to continue making content that involves maybe some testing new makeup and so on. Let's go ahead and get started because we got a lot to talk about here. Also, I felt like my camera was like really off, so. We adjusted it. All right, we're gonna go with some primer here. I did a poll on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on there, I highly recommend. So basically, there have been a lot of stuff that has come out, and I kind of touched about on it when I did my my thoughts on Jaclyn Hill video, which I will link that down below. Um, I thought I should do a dedicated video on Jaclyn Cosmetics as a whole because a lot of things have come out where. Um, I think me as a consumer, you know, I've purchased Jaclyn Cosmetics, hello, <laughs> um, and I've promoted them to you guys, and I think the lying has gotten too far. What kind of prompted this originally was uh, the law, the, the bankruptcy lawsuit with Morphe, Jen loves your views, or Jen loves... Uh, has been doing a fantastic job covering this. Um, if you have not been watching her videos, um, go do that because they're amazing. And I feel like I put way too much of this on, but something about this like cold metal applicator feels amazing. It recently came out that Morphe owns Jaclyn Cosmetics. It was kind of alarming to some because Jaclyn has straight up come out and said, you're purchasing from a family-owned business when you purchase from Jaclyn Cosmetics. And she has said things like, this is my baby, I'm the CEO. And you know, now I'm not a lawyer. Jen covers this way better than I could ever <laughs> begin to think about. Um, but what we have seen is that Jaclyn, you know, J Jaclyn has been labeling, labeling herself as the CEO of Jaclyn Cosmetics. Um, I kind of just was like, fair enough i mean yeah that's her brand and it came out in the lawsuit documents you know it like kind of like talked about the c-suite so the controller the cfo the ceo you know all those big big positions that kind of help keep a company running and jacqueline was listed as a collaborator oh my gosh i can't even like it just was like what the heck like she wasn't listed as like a former ceo or anything like that what this means, according to the documents, is that Jaclyn does not own Jaclyn Cosmetics. Morphe owns Jaclyn Cosmetics, put her name on the doc on the packaging. So, you know, for example, where did that go? For example, Jaclyn Cosmetics. Morphe paid for everything. Sus. Now, I think back in 2019, when the first video came out about, you know, these are my lipsticks. Welcome, you know, this is Jack and Cosmetics. Why didn't she just say that? Why didn't she just say Morphe's my business partner? You know, she said that she invested all this money into it and it appears that she did not invest all this money into it. So it was all a lie. Now, I just wanna know, why are we lying? And I've said this before on, you know, on videos and stuff why are we lying there is no like there's no reason to lie if you are in collaboration with morphe and morphe is your business partner just say it who cares no i would just appreciate the honesty up front rather than having something come up down the line that really just erupts in the beauty community something like you lied about owning your own brand and you don't like come on girl and recently she put out a video and um, I'm on, I watched through some of that. I didn't get through the whole thing. It was a 40 minute video. And quite frankly, I've kind of lost some interest in her as a beauty guru personally. That's just me. What she was saying is, you know, um, you know, she was very vague. 
which I don't know if that's because she has to be here. I don't know. But either way, she said that I am done trying to explain myself, which I kind of thought it was related to Jaclyn Cosmetics. I thought it was related to Cozy. And that kind of like kind of prompted me to make this video in the first place. <laughs> now I know this video is not about Cozy, but she did make an interesting comment that I wanted to mention. Um, she was talking about an It Cosmetics brush that she was going to be using her. I don't know. And she said, oh, at least it's tag marked. And she kind of looked at the camera. I was like, oh God, we're really gonna go there? Like, we're really gonna stoop to that level of unprofessionalism? Okay. If you guys don't know the whole Cozy situation, Basically, the original owner of Cozy did not trademark. I think kind of going back to the lipstick scandal, something that I have really thought about was, why, so if Jaclyn, you know, does not own Jaclyn Cosmetics, Morphe paid for the uh, packaging, the products from the first lipstick launch. It came out, it came out, you know, saying that, you know, they had paid for that, whatever. Why? Did Jacqueline take all the heat for this if she didn't even pay for it? That's what I want to know. Why is she getting all of this heat and all of this backlash when really she had nothing to do with it? I would think Morphe would kind of be like stepping up their game, making an, uh, an apology, making a statement at least, saying, you know, these are the issues that have come up. But it sounds like she was in the dark and people just thought because of her video, I'm the CEO, that she was to blame. When in reality, Morphe was just as to blame. And we noticed this parallel with the vault collection when there were inconsistencies there. Good was the monitor fire, not Morphe. She was, and I don't know if that was a choice made by her or if that was a Morphe was just like, mm, I'm not gonna say anything. And then all the backlash fell on her. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer from my Stitch Wet n Wild Hula Honey palette um in light of my disney trip that's coming up so <laughs> and in light of i need to use my face palettes more often than not so that's where that's coming from but that was very interesting to think about and i'm i'm just overall as a consumer i feel lied to why was i lied to like that's not fair stop lying to your consumers stop lying to the people that pay for your mansion Stop lying to the people, pay for you to literally not do anything. Like, it's not okay. Like, I am so done with the fact that there are, not just Jacqueline, there are so many people lying out there. Like, stop lying. Just tell the truth. <laughs> Yesterday, I uploaded my Snow White and ColourPop review, and I'm gonna be using the Super Shock Blush in the shade I Wish I Wish, which is this, like, rose goldy kind of color and I don't know I've never tried this one yet so I guess we're gonna see how this goes and whether or not I need to use highlighter and in that video that she had just recently posted um she was saying you know people call me Jacqueline Schill or whatever and it's like because you are only online to make money You're only posting when a Jacqueline Cosmetics launch is coming up you're only posting when another Morphe collaboration is coming up. And to a consumer, that's not fair. And I find it very interesting also, you know, with all this stuff coming out, like Jacqueline does not own her brand, etc., etc. All of these other like really big names in the beauty community are silent. Like Manny, Laura, I think Tati's just kind of like over it. Um, you don't see like Nikki Tutorials talking about it. Like, it's all these big, big people that Jacqueline was or still is friends with, I guess. I don't know. Um, that you're not hearing from. And I think that's intentional because I wonder if they either did not know either or what. I'm zooming up just a little bit because we're going to go into brows here. I just find this whole thing so interesting to a point. I think if anyone was going to lie, of course it's going to be Jacqueline. Like, why are we surprised? I always like to use a statement, you know, I'm shocked but not surprised. This is one of those times that falls in perfectly. When I first found out about it, I was like, of course she doesn't. What? That's crazy because she was coming online saying I'm the CEO of so-and-so, whatever. 
But to be honest, I'm one of those people where I'm like, I don't really care. I don't care that she doesn't own her brand. You know, it's not something I'm taking personally, because why would you? You were telling us for three and a half years that you did. And all these people who were loyal to you, who maybe aren't a fan of Morphe and so on. Now they're like, oh my God, I was just buying like a another Morphe brand. What the heck? That's that on that. Um, do I really think that she has like a lot of creative like stance within the company? I don't. I personally don't think that she is the one behind the brand deciding next steps for collections. I think she is just the one to promote everything. So quick pause, we're gonna go into some eyeshadow today. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette and I'm just gonna basically use this for like some transition shades and so on. And then I'm gonna go into the Glamite Hershey Kisses Lava Cake Palette and oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use some of these shades as well. So that's what's on my eyes today. All right, let's get into it. And it appears Jaclyn outright owns Jaclyn Roxanne, which is her jewelry line, and Cozy, which is her loungewear, self-care, whatever it is, line. That is interesting to note. I don't know if she falls under a, you know, parent company, if she's got a business partner for these. Like, I don't really know a lot about that. It is pretty darn interesting. But I do know that she says, like, oh, you know, I'm working so hard on this next collection. I truly and honestly believe that she is not. I think there is someone pushing all the buttons and making all those choices for her. Um, I do believe she is the one that Morphe is paying to have her promote this brand. So I think there is a reason why you see in all of her videos and all of her Instagram stories and TikToks, there's a reason why she's using all this, probably because she's getting paid to. But no, I do not think she's the one in the lab curating and approving formulas because she does not have that kind of power according to all the lawsuit documents. But I, I am just truly questioning, why are you going through all of this trouble to lie? Like, is it just like a part of who you are now? Like, are you just so used to it? Like, I never really got into like any of the past drama. I think there comes a point where like, you're a grown woman like you need to grow up and like I, I don't mean to be rude about this but like it's time that she does grow up because there is just more stuff like you stole a person's name uh, like brand name I don't care if it's just business for you you stole someone's livelihood she even said that like oh it's just business it's just business but it's like Jacqueline that's not just business you don't steal from other people. That's, it's not business. That's not ethical business. And if you want someone to stop calling you Jacqueline Schill and you want people to stop giving you all of this hate online, which you talk about all of the time, because I follow her on Instagram. I see her talking about all of the hate that she's getting. Like, if you are sick of it, stop giving them reasons to say these things about you because it's not just hate. This is real life that is going to follow you. All this lying has now caught up with her and she doesn't know how to handle it. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful shade right here. I got these from TJ Maxx, you guys. TJ Maxx? I just, I cannot support someone like this anymore who, you know, I've been watching her for years, but I cannot support someone who is out here saying, I own my own brand. My employees have off for President's Day when it's like, you don't have employees at Jaclyn Cosmetics. I don't know if you're living in some sort of delusional fantasy land, <laughs> but the court documents say you don't have employees there. And maybe she's got a couple employees for Cozy and Jaclyn Roxanne. I can't expect it. I can't imagine it'd be like a whole huge team. You are not this person that you are trying to portray online. But I think people would just give her tons more respect if she was just honest. Honesty, I was raised honesty is the best policy. It is not fair. It's for innocent consumers to be lied to and kind of like conned into saying 
you know, these people who are who are conned into believing that they're purchasing from a family business when they purchase from Jaclyn Cosmetics, which is far from the truth because for, uh, Forma acquired Morphe in 2020. Therefore, the like the original family owners of Morphe, they're out of the picture. So no, you're not buying from a family company. You're buying from a corporation, which whatever. We buy, Americans buy from corporations every day. A lot of these makeup brands that you're buying from are from a corporation. You don't think this buck some lip liner is from a corporation? Big freaking whoop. Don't lie about it. Stop lying. And I know she is never gonna see this, and yeah, I don't really care. But I think someone just needs to tell her, stop lying. Also, I use the ColourPop Glowing Lip in the shade Candy Kisses. And this was from their Valentine's Day collection, and I haven't really used it since. <laughs> and then we're gonna go into the Winx Club and ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Bloom, which I thought, oh, perfect, pink, pink, you know, <laughs> keeping it on. You know, I think we as consumers, we are lied to in so many different ways every single day. Why am I being lied to by my favorite beauty guru now too, you know? Now, Jacqueline's not my favorite, but I'm just saying like, these people's favorite beauty gurus are lying to them now, or at least Jacqueline is. I do have to say something else though, um, in regards to her talking about her products. She says like, oh, my products are the best thing on the market. Like if, in one instance in particular, I remember her speaking so um, fondly of her concealer, which I actually purchased and reviewed and I hated it. I hated it, you guys. Oh my gosh. Long story so short, um, she had talked about like, this is the best concealer on the market. I have not heard one person besides Jacqueline say that she likes it. Sus. Okay. Also, I just thought of like one more thing that actually popped up on my For You page on TikTok for some reason. I don't like follow beauty guru drama on TikTok at all. Usually it's like anything else but that. <laughs> Lately it's been capybaras. I, I, I don't know. Lately, um, I guess people have been calling her out. She was trying out a new, I don't know, green color correcting CC cream or something, something that I would like never buy in a million years. And someone was like, oh, can you tell us the name of it? Cause she never even said the name of it in her video that she was doing it. I think it was a TikTok video. And this girl had the audacity to say it's in my Amazon storefront. Last point I'll make, if you want people to stop calling you Jacqueline Schill, don't make comments like that. <laughs> Finally, I'm going in with the Pacifica Activist Volume and Curl Mask. Pacifica mascaras are so slept on. They are so good. If you have not tried them, they're so cool. And this is the only mascara that I've tried that's come in a glass bottle. Um, very fun. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I did not mean to sound so negative. <laughs> that's not, not really something I want to portray online as negativity because there's already so much of that out there that I want you to come to this place to relax and like escape from the negativity. But I think we have to be real here. She has lied to us so many times. Is this someone that we really want to trust? And that choice is up to you. So if you do not support Jacqueline, you think that she is Jacqueline Schill, um, unfollow her. Vote with your clicks vote with your likes and vote with your dollar. Don't purchase from her if you are very against her and so on and so forth. And I think in the future, I am gonna be making a more conscious decision on whether or not I will be purchasing from her, which is really sad because in the past, I really liked her makeup products. Like I love her bronzer. I like her under eye hydrating little primer thing and so on. So I think that being said, vote with your dollar. If you don't support her, don't hate watch her, <laughs> you know, just watch the, the channels that talk about her. I don't know. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm here five days a week, Monday through Friday. And yeah, I love you all so much. And I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.